So my webinar is now over and I've only just uploaded the previous video to the uh, vlog channel and already it's got 100 likes so please do keep going with that. Um, it probably wasn't for me, it was probably because Jade started off the video on her own and I am trying to get her to do more and more so hopefully she will do so. So hit that like button if you want more uh, videos with Jade in. But the thing I was actually going to tell you about was that uh, it's really weird, actually, because every time something happens, I think, right, pick up my phone, tell the guys. <laughs> but um, obviously, you guys are kind of virtual. But anyway, maybe that's weird. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But I, as you guys know, a little while ago, I obviously got my new Mac Pro, the six core version, D seven hundreds, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So. That was just a 6 core version. I then ordered up a 12 core maxed out version, but then decided that I didn't feel like I particularly wanted it or needed it for the money that it was going to cost. So, and it meant I'd have to sell my other one and all that kind of rigmarole. And I just didn't really see enough of a benefit considering that it came in at around eight to nine thousand pounds. So, what I've decided to do, or in fact, what I've already done, is purchase a 10 core. CPU. So this is a brand new uh, 10 core CPU. It was £1,500 uh, retail value. That was actually a reasonably good price for it. And that is what I'm going to be putting in my Mac Pro. So hopefully tomorrow, if it turns up in the evening, I will be, or it depends on what time, maybe at lunchtime, I will be putting the new processor in my Mac Pro, which means completely disassembling my Mac Pro which is quite a scary thought, but at the end of the day, I guess it's only a computer and I've built a million computers. So it shouldn't be too much, too difficult. And it's going to be very, very interesting to see how that 10 core uh, performs. So I really cannot wait to see that. And it was just a really kind of efficient way to do it in terms of economy. So, you know, I've got my Mac Pro. It's got pretty much everything I need in it. It's got the D700s, which is the big thing. Uh, I still haven't upgraded my RAM yet to 64 gig because I just haven't felt the need, but I will do in the future. But the first thing I wanted to upgrade really was the CPU and I will be selling my six core uh, CPU for £500. If any of you guys want it for £500, maybe you want to build a Hackintosh or something like that. Uh, so £500, brand new, it's about 800 cheapest price you can get it for. So that's quite a significant saving. And if you guys don't want it, then I'll put it on eBay and it'll probably go for more than that if I put it in an auction. So that's kind of what I'm doing at the moment. So I thought I'd update you guys because I'm quite excited about getting the new uh, processor in. And I just love the idea of a 10 core. It's not really something you hear of very much, is it? So I have a kind of 8, 12, 16. You don't really hear of a 10 core. But it's great because it's got, all, it's got the same amount of cash as the 12 core, but it's got a same clock speed as the eight core or very similar either way. So it means that you get kind of all the benefits from both uh, without losing the clock speed going down to the 12 core. And also the 12 core was another probably 30 to 40% more expensive. So kind of pointless in, in my book for an extra two cores. But the 10 core definitely seems to be the economical um, option, the, the good economical option. So that's the one I've gone for. And obviously I will bring you guys news and updates and the quick vlog unboxing uh, when the processor and whatnot comes in. So it is uh, about half past seven in the morning, and today is a very, very exciting day because we're going from six cores to ten cores, which, for a geek or a nerd, is very, very exciting indeed. So hopefully they will all turn up today, all of the bits that I need. In fact, there's not that many bits. All I really needed was the actual processor itself, some uh, thermal paste to um, put on the back of the new processor for the heat sink and also some uh, rubbing alcohol just to get rid of the previous paste. So they're the only things I'm waiting for. I've already got all of the torque screws and stuff like that. Uh, screwdrivers, sorry. So I've just got to wait for it all to come in and then I can disassemble my Mac Pro, which I've got to say I'm not particularly looking forward to uh, in the slightest, but there's a couple of good videos out there. So I will... Pardon me, I will follow those uh, to the letter <laughs> and um, get my new processor installed and just fingers crossed that nothing gets blown up 
during the process. So here we are guys, it has arrived and here is my mini unboxing. Let's just take a look. Now again, this is always very difficult to do um, with one hand, but I will give it a go. Hang on a sec. Take this tape off. There we go. Whip out the packaging. And there it is. There is my brand new processor for the Mac Pro. So here it is, Intel Xeon processor E5. And the model number is E52690V2. So this is the 10 core version. I don't know if there's any more details here on the back. No, it's just a load of nonsense really in different languages. Um, made in Costa Rica, who knew? Uh, there you go again, Intel Xeon processor E5-2690 V2. Um, I don't think there's very much point. Oh, here's some details here. So you can see the model number, three gigahertz, 25 megabytes of cache. So slightly less cash than the 12 core version, but the 12 core was significantly more expensive. And the 8 core wasn't much less. And the 8 core has um, the same clock speed. Um, and I think it has the same amount of cash as well, maybe slightly less, but obviously two less cores. So this is gonna be very, very impressive indeed. Let's just take a look at the processor as well. So there you go guys, and over on the main channel, hopefully today, I will be bringing you guys the full upgrade video, so keep an eye out for that one. So here we are guys, I am recording the upgrade uh, on the Mac Pro, I'm just getting ready at the moment, so I'll talk you through some of the bits that I've got. So, microfiber cleaning cloth, of which I always have about a thousand lying around for very special occasions. Um, I've also got this, which is um, some, uh, let me just focus on that. Uh, some high density, whatever that says, polysynthetic silver thermal compound. So just basically some uh, thermal paste. And then my little uh, screwdriver set here for, not for the screwdrivers, but for the Torx uh, screwdrivers for undoing the Mac Pro. And then just some um, isoclean, uh, basically like rubbing alcohol, which enables you to clean the existing paste off of the existing processor. The processor itself, as we saw earlier, the Mac Pro, and then my iPad set up with some instructions on how to do it, and then obviously the One DC just here, which I'm going to be using. And today I have got the 24 to 105 uh, L lens on it. So just a little insight there into the beginnings <laughs> of the Mac Pro upgrade. If I'm crying later on in the vlog, it's because I've broken my Mac so Pro. That is it, guys. The video uh, is done for the new Mac Pro uh, processor upgrade. It worked. I won't lie, I absolutely shit myself during the process of doing that upgrade. <coughs> it was a pretty scary thing to do. But it's done, it's all working. I've done the geek bench, uh, so we can see what the benchmark result is. But you guys are gonna have to watch the video on the other channel to see exactly how it turns out. But let me tell you, it is impressive. I nearly said the F word, it is impressive i'm gonna say it it's fucking impressive so very very pleased with that glad it worked i had a sigh of relief <laughs> when it all kicked into action and when you're crossing your fingers it's never a good sign but anyway that is it from me today guys um thank you so much for all the likes you are you are you guys are kicking ass um nearly a thousand on yesterday's one please help me get up to a thousand on this one uh, and i will be so chuffed you will see a big smile on my face tomorrow, but I will see you guys then. Peace.